hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video we are going to start work on the profile activity so on the profile activity and on the settings activity so first we will uh, work on the settings activity we will create now another activity where we will allow a user to update his account settings so yeah first we will do that and then in the next video we will work on the profile activity which is this one so let's do it so first of all let's create another activity so click here click new and from here activity empty activity and the name of our this activity will be settings activity click finish So a new activity is created successfully so wait for it so click on this text and from here first of all let's change this constant layout to relative layout and now let's give it a background so we can say here the Android background and the background will be our this one which is inside the drawable folder we have a background color or you can say the background pic, uh, picture or you can say an image by the name register I hope you remember that okay which is this one now we need to add basically here uh, a toolbar or you can say an app bar so let's add that too so we can include here I mean this is our app bar layout if I show you than this one okay which we created in the previous video tutorial so we have to include that here so we can say include on our account settings.xml file here we can say include and let's give that some id so the id for this will be settings underscore toolbar and now we have to include this uh, app bar layout which I showed to you guys which we already created in the previous tutorial so we can say layout so now now we are referencing to that app bar layout which is our this one okay now you can see that this is our app bar layout and now close this so that's it now we have successfully include the app bar layout now the next thing we need is a scroll view so that because we are going to display all the account information of a user so we will be needing a scroll view for that so here I can simply write scroll and you can see this scroll view drag and drop this here so this is our scroll view and let's move it here so yeah that's it and now click on this text and from here you can see this is our scroll view and you can simply change this uh, remove this linear layout inside from this scroll view and inside it we can create another relative layout match parent match parent and inside that uh, this relative layout we are going to create our fields so first we need to uh, I mean we will allow a user to uh, change his profile picture so we can uh, simply say here we can include a circular image view here which is this one Okay, which should be 250 dp and the height should also be 250 dp and then we can say a line a line parent top this one it should be true and then layout center horizontal which is this one this should be true and margin from the top should be 10 dp and let's include a source here so the source is our default profile picture which is by the name profile inside the drawable folder which is this one okay and let's give id to our this circular image view so we can say we can call it settings underscore profile underscore image and then after this circular image we need to add our edit text for the profile status so we can say edit text match parent rep content 
and let's give it id first so the id for this will be our settings status and it should be below the profile picture so for that we can say layout below which is this one and we are going to pass the id of the image so it will move below the profile image you can see that okay this one and now the next thing is on margin left will be 40 dp and margin right should also be uh, 40 dp and let's give it some background to it so that it can look more beautiful so it is by the name inputs in our uh, this tribal folder if you remember which is basically the background uh, let me show it to you which is about this layout okay so we basically include that uh, beautiful layout here you can see that and the next thing is we have to give it some hint here so the hint will be profile status and padding will be 30 dp text color will be android dot color oh sorry not dot it is colon color and it will be this one which is background dark and the text size will be 20 sp and text style should be bold oh sorry change this to text size this is the text size basically i write it by mistake so the text size will be 20 sp so you can see that it looks more beautiful now and now let's move this uh, little bit from the top so here we can say margin top it will be 4 dp yeah that's it and this is our setting status now we can simply copy this edit text and we will change it for the name profile name and username and other things so i have pa passed that edit text first of all let's change the id of it so the next thing is the username so we will change it for the username so setting the score username is the id for it and it will be uh, below this profile status so you can simply copy the uh, setting status id of this field and paste it here you can see that android layout below so paste that id here and you can see that it moves below so we will uh, change this one uh, this one for the username now so first of all uh, change this hint to username okay and the margin left will be 10 dp and the margin right will also be 10 dp and margin from the top should be 30 dp and change this padding to 12 dp okay you can see that so it's look more beautiful and the text size should be 20 sp so we have changed it successfully for the username now we can simply copy this and we will change it for the profile name or you can say the user full name so first of all change the id of this from username to let's call it profile underscore full underscore name so this is the id for it now we have to move it below this username so come here this is our username uh, text field copy this id and you can see this below so you can simply remove this setting status and paste it here so you can see that our uh, field is moved below successfully now change the hint for this one to profile name or you can say profile full name which is basically the user full name and change this margin top to 6 dp okay 6 dp so it's look good now and uh, yeah that's it we have assigned a unique id to this which is different from the above one so yeah everything is perfect now copy this field 
and we will change it for the country so paste it here and let's first change this ID to settings country and let's move it below so copy the this ID from here and paste it here okay so you can see that if I scroll here okay so you can see that uh, this is our uh, first let's change this hint so this is our country now scroll here you can see this is the country so this is basically the advantage of the scroll view that a user we will allow basically a user to scroll if the information exceed uh, then the page size so that's why I use the scroll view and now uh, this is our country field so we have given it ID and yeah everything is perfect now we will paste here copy this one and we will now add for the date of birth where we will display the date of birth of a user so pass that here and first let's change this country to DOB which means uh, date of birth and uh, copy the settings country ID and uh, here we will paste it okay so pass that here so if I scroll here you can see that this one is now change the hint so that you can see it change this to date of birth if I scroll here you can see that so everything is perfect and the next thing is uh, paste here below oh sorry copy this first and we will now change it for the gender user gender so we can say settings gender and all you need is to change just this hint which is gender and move it copy this settings dob from here and the settings gender will be below the country so let's check it yeah you can see that it is working fine and it looks more beautiful and now copy this and we will change it for the displaying or you can say getting the relationship status so we can say relationship status so let's change the hint to relationship status and copy the ID of this and paste it here so if I scroll here you can see that this is our relationship status and now just we need a button here so we can say we can simply create here a button so we can say button match parent height should be 60 dp let's give it some ID so that we can uh, then move it below so we can call it uh, update underscore account settings and make sure to use unique IDs for each field okay do not duplicate anyone with the previous activities okay do not duplicate that so now we need to move it below so we can say and or layout below and let's copy the ID of relationship status pass that here so you can see that it is moved successfully to the bottom this is our button and now let's give some text to this button so you can set text and uh, we can call it update account settings and the layout margin from all side should be 20 dp and let's give it a background so the background for it will be inputs oh, not inputs uh, let's first check we as you remembered we have uh, create a layout for the buttons so first let me check the name yes button okay so you can simply say here button and now let's check our button how it looks so you can see that it looks more beautiful now let's change the color so the text color will be color ascent 
this one okay let's check it yeah it's good and now let's increase the size of the text so the text size uh, should be 20 sp and let's check if it's look good or not yes it's look beautiful and the text size should be bold style should be bold and then we can set text all caps to false now let's check it so everything is look perfect so yeah this is the in this video we just designed the layout for our settings activity you can see that and in the next video we will uh, work on it further and we will basically allow a user to update or you can say set his account settings so yeah that's it for this video and uh, see you guys in the next video Bye for now.